Cranebird has an extremely important place within Alevi culture. Cranes are mentioned in poems, songs, and are imitated in spiritual Sema dance. Most ancient beliefs, such as Alevism, regard the crane as important symbols of peace, equality, and freedom. Cranes live in total unity and equality. Both male and female cranes are equal to one another. As Sheikh Bedreddin says, they too share everything except the cheek of a lover. They live in peace, have mutual regard for one another, and support each other. Cranes are seen as the symbol of purity, blessing, abundance, happiness, cleanliness, faith, patience, and freedom. Therefore, the crane is considered sacred in Alevism. The crane bird is so entrenched in Alevism that it has become the symbol of significant people in the literature of the belief, such as Shah Ali. Most ancient cultures, from the ancient Egyptians to the tribes in Central Africa to the shamans of the Far East and the Alevis of Anatolia, all consider the crane to be virtuous. When cranes fly, for example, they fly in a triangle. The leader at the very front invests the most effort and energy in tackling wind resistance. When the leading crane gets tired, she or he goes to the back to rest. This cycle is repeated for each crane bird, meaning they all take responsibility in supporting each other. Movements made by crane birds when walking and flying are very similar to the movements performed during Sema. Most Semas imitate the movements of crane. The Turnalar Sema, meaning the Sema of the crane, for instance, is based on the movements of the crane, which are slow and established. The Urfa Sema mainly concentrates on representing the timeline of humanity, from birth to present, whilst also representing and telling the story of the migration of the crane. Pir Sultan Abdal, who frequently referred to cranes in his poems, says in one of his daish, the Shah's voice, the bird they called the crane. His staff is in the river Nile, his cloak is on the dervish. This poem signifies the crane as a representative of Alevi spiritual guides, Anna or Dede. The crane's voice in the poem is familiarized with the voice of Shah Ali. Spiritual guides and cranes are considered to be the same and are respected in this manner. They share traits of being peaceful and egalitarian. Furthermore, cranes are perceived to be birds of communication, where they bring and take information, which is exactly what spiritual guides used to do when information was exchanged between Tekkes and Ojaks. Some ancient beliefs within Alevism suggest that when a human takes the path to Haq, the Jan or the soul migrates and enters the body of another. It is the crane that carries these souls. This belief has metaphorical value in the sense that cranes and humans with all animals live an interconnected and interspiritual continuous life where our mutual path from Huck and to Huck is continuous. Thank you so much for watching the School of Alevism. Please do subscribe, like and share our videos to keep up to date.